welcome and in this video I'm going to show you how to insert um, data from PHP to a JavaScript function so I pretty much made this um, web page right here so the idea behind this is to just enter a name blah 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 and then when I click on display it actually um, a lot it just displays an alert through JavaScript first it sends the name to a PHP um, script and then um, retrieves it back to JavaScript and displays it as um, an alert so I'm just going to assume you guys already know how to create a form I just I already created mine and you have to uh, give a name to your form not an ID you can give an ID but um, name is the useful one then on all your inputs you have to give them a name also um, just for reference purpose so let's get started so on this button click um, so this is what's just going to happen it's going to um, execute this function so here it is right here so let me just go ahead and start coding so we're just going to do some some bunch of stuff you know We're gonna give this any name. You can actually say um, PHP name, any name. You can just give it anything. And then um, we're going to give the reference right here. So it's going to be form dot of ID, which is the name of um, the input box dot value. So it's going to be form dot of ID dot value. So I only have two um, two um, pages right here. The first the PHP and the second the PHP. One holds the HTML file and then one holds the server file, uh, the server codes rather. So um, I'm just going to post this to the second PHP. If this second PHP were to be on the server, you're just going to enter the server address and the location of the um, PHP file. So. Um, so what this basically does is to take this um, form dot or whatever is just in this input box right here this input box right here and then it takes that and posts it to this second that PHP and it this PHP file will now process it and then um, sends it back to this um, JavaScript function so after doing that now to take that um, JavaScript f um, to take that data from the second that PHP which is the PHP file I'm just going to create another function in this function so function I can call this any name um, I can just call it output or data anyone you can just call it anything so next I'm just going to create the alert um, let's output the let's alert the output. That's what we just got from the p second at PHP. So if we run this right now, this is how it's going to run. Let me just refresh and and just write uh, Juliet. So as you can see, it doesn't even um, display anything just yet, at least. Um, oh, I think I know why. I think I made an error here. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to close this right here. Then put yep. So that was the mistake I made. I'm just going to reload this. So as you can see. So it, it hasn't um it hasn't taken it has taken this to the second at PHP but there was no response so that's why it, it outputted an empty um, just an empty string so let's just go ahead so after posting this to the second at PHP to get that data here we're going to have to create another variable and insert that I can just name this anything I'm just let me just call it name and then um, dot post blah 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 and then now what I'm going to put here is exactly the same um, name I referenced here so so this PHP uh, name that I put here 
is actually this form dot off id dot value or in physical terms whatever is in this text box so now i'm going to put it here so whatever is in that text box is now in this variable right here so now i'm just i'm just going to if i had an um sql um database i could just uh, you know whatever you know <laughs> just process this data um right here but since i don't have that uh, now i'm actually just doing a basic tutorial so i'm just going to echo this string back so dollar name dollar name dot dot in php is actually used um to join two strings together or to join two variables together just like in javascript it would be plus or in c sharp um it would be plus but in javascript in php it's um just dot so just going to add the um juliet is a name and it's not not possibly juliet any name it's a name so let's save this and then try it again so you see juliet is a name so I could just put my own name so majesty is a name um, so that pretty much sums this tutorial thank you very much for watching um, please like and subscribe absolutely free and um, I'll see you next time <laughs> bye